RV prep for Swain here. Uh, been having a problem with the uh, shifting here in the Saturn the uh, past couple days. It's shifting so hard, it feels like you have a shift kit in it. I mean, just a, a real hard shift. And that's not good here in the Saturn. Um, and usually what that means is the valve body. Uh, Saturns are bad about the valve body going bad. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is change the valve body in the car. Uh, I pulled the valve body off the old, our old car. Um, we replaced it. We bought a new valve body a couple years ago with a Sonics upgrade. and uh, So I'm going to take this valve body here and put it on her car. And uh, this is what it looks like here. Uh, this actually uh, goes on top of the transmission. Uh, just uh, a couple bolts holds it in and there's a, a rod that goes down here but I'll kind of uh, show you what's all involved um, what we're going to end up having to do is pull the uh, resonator box off air filter assembly off battery and battery tray out to gain access into the uh, uh, cover for the valve body so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off uh, it's pretty easy to clip here uh, there's three bolts that holds this on there's three bolts that holds a battery tray in there's two in the bottom and one on the side and you just pull the hose off and undo the clip and then you get the air box and everything up out of your way so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull all that stuff off and then I'll, I'll kind of get with you here and uh, let you see what else we got to do Okay, as you see, I got the air cleaner and battery tray and stuff out. Uh, before I go and pull the, val the valve body cover off, uh, what you want to do is take a blow, uh, blow nozzle. And you want to blow all the dirt and everything around here uh, all out. You don't want the um, uh, dirt and stuff getting into your in your transmission. So... I'm gonna blow everything here out uh, and get all the dust and everything out so I got a, a fairly clean environment uh, without all the sand and stuff in the way. So let's get to blowing it out here. Okay, I got it all blown out. Um, now the connector is a seven millimeter bolt, and these others are eight millimeter. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull them out, and uh, then we'll be able to get the cover off. Okay, I got all the bolts out for the valve body. Um, so basically, the cover will come up, and uh, with a little wiggling, it'll come out. Uh, wires and stuff in the way. And there the cover is off. And as you can see, you know, here's the valve body. Uh, so you don't remove all of the bolts because the valve body is actually in three pieces. Uh, 
basically you're going to be removing the outer bolt and then the valve body will raise up uh, you have a detent rod back here that you'll have to uh, uh, unhook as you're raising the valve body up okay I got all the bolts out and I'm just going to uh, raise it up and my shifter linkage will slide out and there's the old valve body it's out gotta set it that way when it drips there's a drain uh, let me get a better light and uh, you can kind of see down on the inside of the transmission here let me wipe some of this off real quick and you can see actually inside the uh, the transmission here Alrighty, that is actually the inside of the transmission of a Saturn. Uh, you know, try to look in, and I'm, I'm looking to see if I see anything out of the ordinary. Um, uh, you know, chipped teeth or anything like that, which, you know, uh, shouldn't see any. But everything looks good in there. Uh, if you notice this here is actually the transmission filter uh, Saturn used a spin-on transmission filter and that was uh, you know a good thing because changing the uh, the flood in the Saturn you basically uh, you got a drain hose or a, a drain plug you pull the drain plug out and Drain it out, uh, put the plug back in, uh, change the filter, and that's basically you know how you change the uh, transmission fluid on these. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean the uh, gasket area a little bit around here, uh, and then I'll get the other valve body put on, and uh, then we'll get everything buttoned up here. Okay, I got the uh, gasket surface cleaned. Uh, what I did is I used a razor blade and I just scraped to the outside and uh, that way I got nothing inside the uh, inside the transmission um, this rod here is what goes on the uh, uh, valve body so once I get it in uh, I'll have to work that in and then I can set the valve body down in here uh, the gasket is already on the valve body so there's no need to uh, it's it's still good shape it didn't tear or nothing so I'm just going to use it and just make sure everything's uh, wiped down there's nothing on the bottom of the valve body that will cause it to stick any uh, foreign material or anything like that you know uh, anytime you're doing anything uh, internal like this you know, making sure something is clean is really worth the extra time and effort. That way you won't have to uh, go back and redo something a second time. If it's clean, it's clean right the first time. You put it back together, uh, generally you won't have any problems. So let me get the valve body and we'll get it in there. Alrighty. Slide it up in here a little bit. And this is the fun part. It's getting this and holding this, getting it slid in. Okay, I got the uh, valve body on and, and tightened down as you see. Um, I'm going to use the uh, cover from the uh, other Saturn. Uh, the gasket's in excellent shape on it. It's a dry, ga dry type gasket. Um, 
excellent shape, uh, so I'm going to use it. The cover is actually cleaner uh, than the other one, that, you know, exterior and stuff. Uh, plus that other cover, uh, here where the uh, bolt connector went, on that other cover was actually bent uh, a little bit, uh, where mine is, my other one is straight. So putting the cover on is actually straightforward. Uh, get the wires up, get it in, slide it in. It's got uh, uh, tabs. You've got to work with them a little bit. There you get it in. Make sure the tabs are slid in, which they did. And then all I got to do now is uh, put the cover bolts back on. I'll get the connector on, get the air box and stuff assembly uh, back in. Uh, hook the battery up. Um, and then we'll go with for a uh, what's called a uh, adaptive relearning process for this. Uh, where it's got to relearn the shift points. Uh, but once we get to that, then uh, uh, I'll get back with you. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, all buttoned up here. Uh, pretty straightforward, uh, putting everything back in. So let me get this done, and then I'll be back with everybody. Okay, uh, one thing I want to share with you. Um, Sometimes you get a bolt this way down here in the hole and you can't get in there to uh, hold the bolt and, and get it in there. Uh, so what I do is I take a uh, paper towel. I'll pull that off and show you. I'll take a paper towel, I'll put it over the end of the bolt, push the bolt down, pull the paper towel out of the way. Bolt holds in. I'll be able to get it down in there uh, and don't have to worry about the bolt falling down and get it right in to where I need it and there it is and get right on it pulls right off simple easy trick I can reach down and I can get the paper towel off. Works perfect. That's a little trick that I do on, on some hard to get to bolts. So, I'll get back with you here in a minute on uh, once I get everything buttoned up. That's how you uh, take care of the uh, a shifting problem and change the valve body on a uh, 98 Saturn. Um, question comments please like and subscribe you can also visit me on facebook at facebook.com backslash rv prepper thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video